Consider this English sentence, I counted the money for you. What are the agent and the patient in the sentence? In I counted the money for you, the subject, I is the agent, the one doing the action, the patient is the money, the one undergoing the action, and the third patient, you, is the one benefiting from the action. We call this participant the beneficiary. In English, the beneficiary role is usually marked as the object of the preposition for. Like the recipient in column and unlike in English, the beneficiary is never marked as the object of the preposition. In column, the beneficiary is marked as the object of the verb. In this section, you'll learn the details of how this role is expressed in column. For me, or you, or zhang. For us, Gungish, you folks, or zhang hai. And then nothing is added to him, her, it, or them. It is simply implied. You count the money for him. You folks count the money for him. And you count the money for us. You folks count the money for us. And I count the money for you. We count the money for you. I count the money for you folks. We count the money for you folks. I count the money for him. And we count the money for him. And you count the money for him. And you folks count the money for him. And he counts the money for him. The object suffixes differ only for me and you, with the t-transitive verbs. Me and you are both t. With the beneficiary verbs with seat, me and you are either t or tsung. Most of the elders think that either it's or tsang is okay for me or you with seat verbs. So we can use kwsits or kwsitsang for count it for me. The root of the verb in the models is kws. The root of the verb of the models is kws. It appears in kwsat, count it, and kwsang, count. Adding seat to the root creates a transitive verb with a beneficiary object. In sentences with both a beneficiary and a patient, the patient is always the object of the preposition a. Ah. This layout in the first model, um, you count the money for me. You've got your root seat, your beneficiary. As your agent, a ah, and satala, the patient. Know that just as with the t suffix, the T in the seat suffix drops before the C in the object suffix. In English, the patient, which is the money in the sentence, follows the verb and the beneficiary follows the preposition for. In column, the beneficiary is the object of the verb and never the object of the preposition. Here are some other verbs with the seat form, and I'll just read over this column. Chuch seat. Chuch seat. Kuchanga seat. Quan seat, tuck seat, quayam seat, chay seat, yat seat, kam seat, oh seat. The last two of these need some comments and explanations. First, let's look at kam at. This could also be translated, 
ask for it or beg for it. The object of the seat form isn't exactly a beneficiary, but it is the person receiving the request. So the term beneficiary isn't entirely accurate, but since there is no better term and since it works almost all of the time, we'll stick with it. Just be on the lookout for seat verbs with other objects that isn't exactly a beneficiary. Now let's look at the last verb listed above. Oh, seat. This is based on the root, oh, go there. The form oh is a causative and meaning cause to go there or simply take it there. The seat is added after the t suffix. Note that the object of seat verb is always a person or something with human qualities.